the Supreme Court verdict on the demonetization that took place in 2016 November came out today. Of the five judge bench, four were in favor of demonetization being legal, and one judge stood out saying it was not. The four judges said that the executive policy is beyond the scope of judicial review normally. Executive has the power to do what the parliament does. Also, demonetization is in line with the powers of the union government as they are contained in the union list in the seventh schedule, item number 36 being legal tender and currency, item number 45 being banking. The minority verdict said that RBI did not apply its mind independently. It should have because it is the heart and soul of the money of the country. And also demonetization being such a vital policy, it should have been done through the parliament. Thus, the majority verdict is look at and legalistic. It looked at the form and said that the central government prevails over the RBI. The minority verdict was look through and substantive. It felt that in a constitutional democracy, the power of the parliament should never be undercut. So what's the net effect? It has no legal value because the event is over. If anything, going by the contents of the majority verdict, for all future purposes, parliament stands incapacitated.